Ever wonder what really is happening inside of a greenhouse? Hi, I'm Trevor from Greenhouse Emporium. Today we're breaking down the science of how greenhouses trap heat, the role of sunlight, and how you can optimize your greenhouse, whether it's summer or winter. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Did you know for optimum heating and light exposure, the orientation of your greenhouse is crucial. Generally, you want to position the longest side of your greenhouse facing south to capture the most sunlight throughout the day, especially during those shorter days of winter. Now, of course, there are exceptions and we'll cover those in upcoming videos. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button down at the bottom. So how does a greenhouse work? Well, it's all about how it manages heat when sunlight enters the transparent structure, whether glass, polycarbonate, or plastic. It heats up the surfaces on the inside, like soil, plants, and rocks. This heat is then radiated as infrared energy, which is trapped by the greenhouse walls, creating a warming effect, which is also known as the greenhouse effect. During the day, temperatures inside can rise quickly. Even if it's 50 degrees outside, a well-sealed greenhouse can reach up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit or even higher. That's why proper ventilation is key to preventing overheating. Good ventilation, like roof vents or exhaust fans, releases excessive heat and helps to keep your plants safe. It's all about finding that perfect balance between heat gain and air circulation. Oh, hey, did you know humidity is another important factor? Greenhouses naturally trap moisture, creating a humid environment, which is great for plants that love moisture. However, too much humidity can cause mold and mildew. So as you can see, proper ventilation is key to multiple issues. At night, however, the heat escapes. While greenhouse walls can hold some warmth, they aren't perfect insulators. This means that your greenhouse can get as cold as the outside air by morning making it feel like a freezer. Here's where the thermal mass comes in. Remember how soil, plants, and rocks radiate heat? Well, you can use this to your advantage. The more plants you have inside your greenhouse, the more warmth is radiated throughout the night. Materials like water barrels, stone paths, and moist soil store heat during the day and release it gradually at night, helping to keep your greenhouse warmer. Especially if you're using darker materials, this is called the albedo effect, where dark surfaces absorb more heat from the sun, while lighter materials tend to reflect it back. You can also utilize this for warmer seasons by using lighter colors to reflect the heat. Did you know that water can hold about four times more heat than soil? You know, adding water barrels or containers is one of the best ways to retain heat at night. But, you know, but when choosing a thermal mass for passive heating, it's not just about how much heat material can absorb. It's also important to consider how quickly it releases that heat. Materials like water absorb heat more slowly, but release it gradually, making them ideal for maintaining stable temperatures overnight. On the other hand, materials like stone or brick may heat up faster, but they also lose heat more quickly. So here's a quick tip. Some greenhouse owners even place aquarium heaters in their water barrels to keep them warm during the night. This can be more energy efficient than running a full greenhouse heater. But keep in mind, it won't prevent freezing in extreme cold. It's best for maintaining an ambient temperature in milder winter weathers or extending your growing season into the fall. If you've ever wondered why a greenhouse gets so cold at night despite holding heat so well during the day, well, it's because materials like glass and polycarbonate, while good at trapping heat, still let some escape when temperatures drop. Adding thermal mass like water barrels and keeping the soil moist can help retain more warmth. Polycarbonate panels with their double layer design trap air in between the layers and insulate better than a single pane glass. They help hold heat during the day, but temperatures drop at night still need to be managed. Did you know that polycarbonate is up to 250 times stronger than glass but it still lets in about 80% of the light. This durability and insulation makes it a popular choice for modern greenhouses. Polycarbonate also provides UV protection. Too much UV radiation can damage plants. Polycarbonate filters out harmful UV rays while letting in lots of light. 
If you want to learn more, check out our videos on light transmission. Managing a greenhouse is a daily task. Opening vents during the day to release excess heat and remembering to close them at night to keep the warmth in. Now, that's why some models have automatic vent systems which save you time and effort. Sunlight is your greenhouse's greatest asset. You know, not only will it heat the space, but it also fuels plant growth. Now, however, in the winter, you may need to supplement lighting, as shorter days means less sunlight for plants. Understanding how your greenhouse heats up, cools down, and retains warmth allows you to maximize its efficiency. From ventilation to thermal mass, Small adjustments can create an ideal growing environment all year long. I hope this gives you a better understanding of how greenhouses work and how to improve yours. With just a few tweaks, you can create the perfect space for your plants to thrive. Be sure to subscribe for more greenhouse tips and tricks.